You're right guys, so I haven't done a video in quite a long time now, I think it's been about a month. Um, my computer's been playing up, I think it's my RAM, but originally I thought it was my graphics card, so I've been tinkering with it, but I haven't been able to get any gameplay. And I formatted my hard drives and, ugh, just god knows what, I just had endless issues with losing content and stuff, so... I've had a bit of a month's break, and this kind of seems like the perfect opportunity to sneak a video in, explain what's going on, and also get some mead done. So for everyone who hasn't seen my videos, feel free to go have a look. This one's a bit off topic, but I've said previously that I was thinking about doing some mead videos, and well, here we go. Um, currently I am going to be cleaning these, it's a bit dirty, you can get these, this is like just the normal stuff you need, I'll talk you through it in a minute, but this is just a uh, one gallon demo john, you get them for £2 from... Oh, this one's pre-owned. You can get them for usually about eight quid brand new, but uh, I'd rather just clean it and save myself the extra money. But um, yeah, I need to give this a good scrub in a second. I won't show you that obviously, but I'll show you um, me sterilising it. I've got some sterilising stuff here. It's all fairly cheap stuff. Um, it's usually about I think that's probably like two pound. This is probably like another pound or whatever. Um, but yeah, you need the damage on obviously for your liquid for when you're pouring the stuff in. You're going to be using that. But you're going to have to sterilise all of this in a second, but I will show you that. Um, I'm using a big Jamaican, like, yeah, as you can see, du well, Jamaican Sun Dutch pan. What we put on my meat in, but you will see that in a bit. Um, yeah, you need yourself a nice tube. So that'll be for siphoning and God knows what. Actually, I'm not too sure if I'll need that. Um, I don't think I'll need that this time. I won't. So I can put that aside. But this will be your bubbler, that's so the yeast doesn't explode inside your demijohn. Um, I've got yeast nutrient and Larvin D45, what's renowned for being one of the best for um, mead. Um, yeah, the yeast nu nutrient is like just a, a food for the yeast to keep it going for a bit longer. You can put um, tomato puree in there if you want, if you don't have a yeast nutrient. But I think I got that for about three to five pounds off eBay or something. You can probably get them in most places anyway, um, like yeah, I don't know, brewery places, I can't remember the places called off the top of my head, where I get mine from, but it's just so nice in town. Um, yeah, I think most towns have them as well, if not the like, local city or whatever will probably have plenty of this stuff. But yeah, um, you use this stuff, you use about three to four teaspoons, I think it said, um, in wa and water, and it, uh, okay, yeah, one to two teaspoons per a gallon of warm water, so you need to put one to two teaspoons in there but I'm going to give it my scrub first and then this stuff I just leave to sit in it as well so I'm going to fill my uh, basin up full of my sterilising gear and just let it sit for a couple of hours and I'll speak to you in a second when I finish scrubbing this and I'll show you me filling it up and everything I just forgot to quickly include that you will need a bowl to be sterilised as well because you'll obviously be putting your yeast in there in a minute before you put it inside your um, demijohn after you put your honey in but you'll be doing that at a later period but you will need a bowl ready to be sterilised So I just gave the demijohn a bit of scrub, it's got a bit of a stain in the bottom but I don't think it made much of a difference I think it must have been used for some sort of like beer previously but oh, I gave it a scrub and it went off so it must be stained to the glass or something but I'll just ignore that and pretend it's never there. So I need to fill this up with a nice warm water now. Actually, mm, should I put this stuff in first? Ah, this second. But yeah, make sure it's not hot, you just want it warm. Nicely does it. You want to get it as high as you can really, because you want the entire thing to be sterilised obviously. Okay, nice. Get yourself a little spoon out. That's the damage on being sterilised now. Inside. You have to leave it to one to three hours. I'll probably just leave it for the one hour. Because I did just scrub it anyway. Um, right, I'm going to fill my basin up. 
and everything that's going to be touching the mead or the pan will need to be sterilised. I don't know if you can see the pan. No, you can't. Yeah, obviously. Anything what will be touching the mead. Not sure if you can see the water. Yeah, there you go. Just make sure your pan is obviously big enough. Big enough to be able to hold enough water to go inside the vinegar. Right, and that's the sterilising done. I will quickly show you what other stuff you'll need as well, um, like honey and water. You right guys, so now it is done, um, you're more or less ready. It's, this has gone, it must be about an hour and 15 minutes I think I waited. But yeah, you're more or less ready now to start putting your pan on the hob and heating your honey up. You just take everything out of the basin obviously. And get it already. I'll speak to you in a sec. You are guys, so I've just finished the sterilizing process. I have brought my honeys over and my bottled water. Um, you can use tap water, but I wouldn't really advise it because they put loads of chemicals in the tap water. Um, if you do want to use it, instead of spending like, I, don't know, I didn't even think this came to 60p, um, but if you did want to use it, I would advise putting it in a big pan, probably, for example, this sort of pan, and um, leaving it out for about 24 hours so the chemicals like evaporate because you don't really want like chlorine and god knows what else in your meat so I, w I wouldn't really advise it but if you do have no choice but using tap water um yeah that should be fine anyway um this is just a standard honey you can get it from obviously anywhere it's just a nice orangey honey I, you can get like different types of honey um i definitely use a runny honey <laughs> over a like a thick one i can't remember what those, the thick one's called but off the top of my head um, yeah, I've got a couple more things while I'll still be left in the sterilizing mixture, but we don't really need those yet. Um, if you like this video and want to see more, feel free to drop a sub and give me some love in. On this channel, I mainly do gaming videos, so if you want to see some gaming videos, feel free to have a look. Um, I've got plenty of content on there, from like Total War Attila to Grand Theft Auto, whatever. I've got loads of stuff. Um, yeah, I guess that is it. Uh, my next video will obviously be on putting the mead together, adding all the yeasts and everything, so I guess I will see you in the next video. Ciao!